Hello friends, it's so good to be with you today. Um, I love to share my experience as a believer, how I got saved, how I got born again. And this is just to encourage you to be able to share your own experience also. Jesus said, when the power of the Spirit comes upon us, we shall be witnesses. And to be a witness means uh, to be able to tell your story. Uh, say what you have seen and what you have experienced and then let the grace of God come upon other people and let them be able to uh, receive what you have received and in turn share their own story. So I was a young man uh, in the boarding house, secondary school at, uh, you know, my alma mater, uh, government college, Ibadan. And uh, as a young Muslim boy, I was, um, you know, I, I, was, I was going nowhere really, spiritually speaking. I understood nothing about how the spiritual world works and... Uh, I lived my life anyhow within the little knowledge that I had and all I wanted was just you know to be happy go lucky happy guy nice guy and uh, enjoy all the things that excite young people out there uh, but I was uh, just so ordered by God my steps you know were so ordered by God uh, to the point that the first set of young men that I met when I got into secondary school happened to be uh, boys who had been saved somehow the moment they got into secondary school and uh, I you know I started interacting with them and months went by and then years went by and you know their impact on my life became very very strong one of the things that struck me about them uh, was the fact that uh, just like the Bible says in Acts uh, chapter 4 verse 13 they saw the boldness of Peter and John and they noticed they took knowledge of them that they had been with Christ knowing that they were ignorant and unlearned men uh, these young men were young they had no reason uh, to be responsible or reasonable but one thing I saw about them was that they had love in their heart joy in their heart they were bold about what they believed uh, they, they were serious about their academics and uh, they were very responsible this attracted me to them and opened my heart to be able to listen to them and uh, gradually they started you know watering uh, sowing seeds and watering them uh, by asking me questions uh, do you know anything about eternal life do you know that this world will not end here um, and um, when when we die do, do you know that we have to go somewhere where will you spend your eternity and stuff like that these were questions I didn't have any serious answer uh, to and at some point in my life I had to start to think about my life and you know lo and behold they invited me to be a part of a program that was that was supposed to hold in the fellowship it was um, um, a, a Friday afternoon, um, uh, November of that year, and I went to the mosque as a Muslim young man, you know, had Juma service, prayed, and afterwards I just thought, let me go back to my room, and uh, eventually I thought about it again. Um, I was going to pass through the school chapel anyway, where the Christian students would be having their fellowship. And okay, my friends have invited me, uh, um, Shegun, Muiwa, Buega, Henry, you know, I was just, uh, you know, trying to uh, think about whether I will offend them or not. And invariably, I guess by the Spirit of God, I was directed to just go and fulfill all righteousness. I entered the place, sat down, and I thought pastor was, you know, invited from town to uh, speak to us young people, uh, you know, at that time. And the man... Uh, spoke and the Spirit of God arrested my heart and when he made the altar call I went out to be saved and um, I can tell you that from that day I went to the altar I really never departed from the altar God's grace rested upon me kept me uh, my life was transformed I uh, you know I, I, I became born again and I started to experience the grace of God the things I thought I would never be able to do the right things I thought I would never be able to do. I started gaining courage uh, to be able to do them. The very bad things I thought I would never be able to leave behind by the grace of God, years upon years, months upon months, I've been able to gain the courage uh, to walk away from uh, destructive habits, to walk away uh, from destructive thought patterns and to focus on the author and the finisher of our faith, Jesus Christ, who is the giver of life. Uh, do you have your own testimony of salvation if you don't that means you may not be born again and you need to consider giving your life to christ and if you do have a testimony of salvation i want to encourage you share your own story and as you do god will bless you abundantly